Hailing from the UK, actor Hugh Grant has never strayed too far from his roots. He's lived in a handful of stunning homes across the pond, including a South Kensington penthouse, a $13 million mansion in Notting Hill, and a vacation spa in Sweden. Finally, his most recent property purchase might just be the nicest of all, a $23 million estate in the posh Chelsea area of London. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. There are few actors as charming as British Hugh Grant. After establishing himself as one of the most popular film actors of the 90s in roles like Bridget Jones' Diary and of course Notting Hill, Hugh would become Hollywood's go-to leading man for romantic comedies for the entire decade and beyond. Of course, for as much as his love life appeared to be perfect on screen, Hugh's real life love stories are far more complicated, involving multiple short lived romantic partners, a few illegitimate children, and most of all, the prostitute scandal while he was in a long term relationship with Elizabeth Hurley. But over the years since, Hugh has finally mellowed. Sure, he might have had two children by two different women as recently as 2012, but six years later in 2018, he'd marry the mother of three of his children, Swedish TV producer Anna Eberstein. Now he and Anna share a large real estate portfolio, which at times has boasted over a dozen homes. For example, there's the penthouse Grant lived in at the peak of his acting career in the early 2000s, the Notting Hill mansion, and even their vacation home in Anna's home country of Sweden. If those aren't enough, Hugh most recently bought an uber expensive spread in an affluent London neighborhood. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment in this one checking out the homes of Hugh Grant. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. One of Hugh Grant's most well-known residences was the South Kensington penthouse he bought for himself in 2000 for what was believed to be around $3 million. Kensington is an area of London that's famous for its designer shops, restaurants, and prestigious schools. As for the glitzy penthouse, it's known as the Petersham House and is located on Harrington Road. Hugh's former abode spans the entire seventh floor of the building and boasts an elevator that opens directly into the home's reception room. Inside, you'll find three double bedrooms with accompanying ensuite bathrooms as well as a spacious living room, sunroom, dining room, a gym, multiple terraces, and a jacuzzi. Also, that jacuzzi can fit up to six people, which definitely lives up to the party hard lifestyle Hugh was reportedly living around the time he lived in this space. Apparently, Hugh decided to sell sometime in 2003, just before he began filming another one of his classics, Love Actually. At the time of his move, he said he needed a bigger space. And while this penthouse might not be massive, it's not exactly small either. The residence spans just over 3,000 square feet and boasts a massive outside terrace that not only creates an additional 1,500 square feet, but offers 360 degree views of the skyline, including views of all the famous city landmarks in London. You can also catch the views through many massive floor to ceiling windows and sliding glass doors located throughout. There's also lots of high voltage ceilings, mirrors, skylights, custom made crystal chandeliers, and a bright neutral color palette, including white marble bathrooms. And Hugh's former master suite is pretty much the ideal place for anyone to relax. It not only boasts a large dressing room and a vast ensuite bathroom finished in the best marble, it even includes a skylight over the shower that provides a one of a kind experience. After Hugh sold this home in 2003, it's occasionally hit the market again over the years, including as recently as a year ago when it was listed at $12.3 million. But by that point, he would already moved on to one of his many other homes, so let's take a look at one of those next. In fact, let's head over to his wife's home country of Sweden. After beginning a relationship with Anna Eberstein in the early 2010s, he has become something of a regular in the country of Sweden. Whether he's in the county of Skane to take part in a charity race, 
or visiting an inn in Stockholm for a romantic getaway with his longtime partner. He and Anna and their young children love to tour this gorgeous country. That's probably why in 2015, Hugh decided to put roots down here permanently by scooping himself up a beach house for around $700,000 in the town of Turkov, Sweden. A few photos of Grant's new home began to circulate in the Swedish press almost as soon as news broke that the world famous actor had chosen to purchase it. These images show a roughly 1,300 square foot, one level home painted in all white with a large front yard located right on the water. But according to reports that were soon to follow, it was never actually Hugh's intention to live in the structure that sits there now. Instead, all signs point to he and his wife undertaking some extensive renovation to spruce the place up and make it exactly as they want it. Even going so far as to demolish the current house to build another in its place. But even then, I'm not entirely sure how much of the year he and his family will really be spending here. When asked by the Swedish news agency TT, if he planned on wintering in Sweden, he laughed and replied, No, it is enough to spend the summer in Sweden. Well, at least it's always there if they need it. All right, let's head on back to England to check out two final properties, one of which is located in an area I think you'll all be familiar with. After turning the English neighborhood of Notting Hill into every romantic comedy lover's dream destination, you decided to get in on the fun by picking up a $13 million mansion in the neighborhood all for himself. Himself. Hugh bought this property almost two decades after starring in the film that popularized this quaint part of London. His home is a handsome, semi-detached abode that sits in a crescent only a few blocks away from the home of his former character in the film, Will Thacker, with its immediately recognizable blue door. Details on what this place is like on the inside are slim, but it reportedly boasts five bedrooms, a bespoke kitchen, and two dressing rooms. According to sources, Hugh would drop a further $700,000 dollars to spruce this place up with a series of renovations, but it's also unlikely that he ever spent much time here. Instead, he rents the home out at a rate of $10,000 a week. I mean, that is kind of smart. I bet there are a ton of Notting Hill fans that are willing to pay through the nose to vacation in a house located in that very same neighborhood that's actually owned by the star of the film himself. As for why Hugh doesn't spend that much time here, if any, well, there probably has something to do with him having recently bought a $23 million mansion in the heart of Chelsea, London in 2019. Not only is Hugh now neighbors with Pippa Middleton and her husband, James Matthews, but he's the proud owner of a six bedroom semi-detached home that's located in one of the most exclusive streets in the entire city. Unfortunately, the area is so exclusive that that's literally all we know about his newest purchase. But it sure does look nice from the outside, doesn't it? Will Hugh Grant call it a day here and be content with his real estate portfolio as it stands? We'll just have to wait and see. But rest assured, if Hugh picks up himself a new home anytime soon, we'll hit you up with as many of the details as we can find. But for now, that's going to bring this latest edition of House Tour to a close. Thanks for watching, everyone, and take a moment to let me know what you thought about Hugh's homes in the comments down below. Once you're done that, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if you haven't yet. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll catch you all in another video. Bye!